Hey guys, it's Bren, and in this video today, I'm going to talk about the Land of Sweets Body Care Collection and give you my thoughts now that I've used it a little bit. Um, it's Black Friday, so I hope you had a good Thanksgiving and maybe got some deals today. I'm not really big on Black Friday, but I did buy some AirPods because I was still using wired headphones like a Neanderthal. <laughs> um, so I got those. That was like my one little Black Friday purchase for myself. Um, got some gifts, and then I did actually put in one Bath & Body Works online order, which I don't usually do their Black Friday. It's not really a great sale. Buy three, get three free everything, but it's only like the lower price things that are free. It would be better if it was like every other thing was free. You know, buy two candles and one of those is free and two lotions and one of those is free. But it's like if you buy like three candles and three soaps, only the soaps are free. It's really not that great considering they have buy three, get three free body care all the time and buy two, get two candles. And there aren't many coupons unless you were lucky enough to get ones in the mail right now. But I did go ahead and do it because there were exactly six things that I wanted to get, uh, mostly body care from this collection, and I had a 20% off online coupon, and so I just went ahead and did it uh, just to kind of get those things off my list. But now I want to talk about this stuff and how it is. Um, sorry about my lighting because it's kind of dark out today, so I know it's not the best, but I do have the Christmas tree up, and I got my stockings up for Clover Me and River, so I had to do that since it's my first year with the fireplace. Okay, let's get started. Sorry, that was a long intro. Um, I guess I'm going to talk about Santa's Blueberry Shortbread first. So when this collection came out, it was about a week ago, but I didn't review it right away because I really wanted to use these for a while before I talked about them. Uh, so I've had them and I've like alternated different days wearing the different scents, but I just got a cream and a lotion of each. Um, I'm not big on fine fragrance mist. I will only buy a fine fragrance mist if I really like a scent, but I like to wear more like perfume. Uh, so... I didn't buy any of those. I, I'm not, I don't really want to walk around just like smelling like a cupcake. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it like in lotion. I like my skin to smell like that. Um, but that's why I don't really use fine fragrance mist. And shower gel, I just have so much of it and I don't use that much of it. Um, but I did go ahead and buy a shower gel in this scent today now because I do like this. Now, it's kind of weird. I'll read you the notes here. Um, baked blueberry crumbled shortcake whipped cream. So this one, it's a... Uh, it definitely has blueberry, but I had a friend smell it and I didn't tell them what it was and they couldn't pinpoint that. And then once I said blueberry, they were like, oh yeah, but I think there's something about this that reminds me a little bit of black licorice too. Like if you don't think of it as blueberry, a little bit, it kind of smells like licorice. And also I kind of feel like it smells a little bit like grapey, um, like grape soda or grape popsicle or something like in a way too. But if you think of it as blueberry, then it smells like blueberry. Um, and you definitely get like a buttery vanilla note in there too, like a bakery, like, like a shortbread. So that part is kind of dead on. Um, but yeah, the blueberry is a little, it's a little weird, but I think that's why I like this scent because it is kind of different. Like this doesn't smell like anything else that they've done. It's really unique. I think I just got some on my nose. <laughs> it's unique. It's different. That's why I like it. Um, but yes, it kind of has like a little bit of a licorice or a grapey kind of scent to it as well in what's supposed to be the blueberry. It's strong though, and it hangs around for a while. So I've noticed that when I've put it on after I've gotten out of the shower hours later, I can still kind of smell it on myself. Uh, so that's good. So I bought another cream, two more lotions and a shower gel in that scent, uh, just to kind of stock up, you know, and, and have some cause it's, it's different. It's unique. Um, I wanted to have a little bit in the stash. Okay, now let's talk about Bright Lemon Snowdrop. So this, also really good, um, but I just got one more lotion of this. That's all I decided that I needed. The notes on this one, uh, Frosted Lemon Citrus, Marshmallow Fluff, and Vanilla Bean. And what I really like about this scent is that there is no musk or perfumey note. There's no floral note. That's kind of what I like about this whole collection because you guys know I hate when they take your like desserty, nice, uh, sweet scents and then they throw in like a flower or they throw in musk and it's like, oh, you just turned like a delicious scent into something weird. And so when this came out, a lot of people were comparing it to the Lemon Tutti Dolce. This is Lemon Buttercup. What I didn't like about this one is that it has like a, like a, perfumey. I don't know if it's in the notes and this is the small size, so it doesn't even have the notes on there, but 
it has some kind of like perfumey note to it, uh, in addition to smelling like lemon. And so I could never really get into this because I liked the lemon component, but I didn't like that perfumey note. And so I'm very happy to report that Bright Lemon Snowdrop doesn't have that. It really is just a bakery scent that smells like really sweet lemon cookies. It smells a lot like the lemon buttercream soap, um, which is out again this year. This is like last year's version, but it's out in a blue bottle this year. Um, this perhaps is not quite as lemony, and it's a little more of the sweet vanilla type of scent than the lotion. The lotion is more lemon forward. And one last thing I want to compare it to is one of my favorite things of all time, uh, and that is the Southern Lemon Chiffon. So this was just out in the soap and then this little hand cream years ago. If you've ever smelled this, this is the last that I have of it this this is amazing this is so good uh, and I don't like bright, bright lemon snowdrop as much as I like lemon chiffon um, unfortunately lemon chiffon is just really got this tart zingy it kind of smells like lemon meringue pie but like a really sour tart lemon but then that meringue note just swoops in or I guess maybe chiffon <laughs> note slip, uh, smooths it out and so this is so good. The lemon uh, snowdrop here, not quite as good, but it's still good. It's sweeter, it has more vanilla, it has more bakery in it than the uh, chiffon, but it's kind of like the Tutti Dolce, but without the weird perfume note. And it's kind of like the lemon buttercream soap, but it's also uh, a lot like the uh, London Tea and Biscuits candle that just came out, but more lemon. So this is really like just a uh, lemon dessert scent. I mean, it smells a lot like uh, like the lemon drops candle, and I don't have which is kind of like the lemon cello candle, and I don't have the lemon cello body care, but I don't think that that one has any bakery in it, whereas this has a little bit of vanilla in it. But it's really strong. Uh, it's really fresh. It's straightforward and fruity and I like it but not enough to buy a ton of it like I did with the blueberry I just again one more lotion um and that'll that'll last me long enough um that it's pretty it's pretty darn good though pretty good pretty good no musk so not complaining and then the only other new scent in this collection so there's of course uh, winter candy apples back um hot cocoa cream is back in this collection but the only other new one was Christmas cookies so I got Christmas cookies to try out. Didn't get any more of this. Um, this is kind of the most plain, I don't want to say bland, but like straightforward, normal scent in the collection. So it's just not that special to me. Um, but the notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. Um, I wish I smelled the almond in this a little more. I do think it's there. I do think this is a nice, um, almost kind of, this one's kind of got like a buttery note in it too. It's just a nice cookie type vanilla scent it's different than vanilla bean noel it's different than just a plain vanilla because you do get a little bit of bakery now since i already put the other ones on i'm not gonna be able to like really smell this on me um i'm running out of skin it's like when i go into the store and i've got little, one here one here one here one here one here um it has a really warm buttery cookie type scent lots of vanilla it does have a little bit of an almondy note, but like not too much, not really. But it's just like a cookie scent. It's nice, um, but it's not, it doesn't hang around as much as the other ones. Like the blueberry and the lemon, I'd put it on and then hours later I could still smell it. This one, it's, you, you know, can't really smell it that long. It doesn't really last that long because it is just kind of like a nice vanilla scent. Um, but it's, it's fine, you know, it's like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a basic sweet scent, uh, but it's not like a standout for me. It's just not totally different enough from other things that they've done that, so I just don't need any more, but I don't regret buying these two. I will use these up. Um, I think it's like pretty good, but you know what it's not as good as? It's not as good as Mary Cookie. So I would have preferred, like this is the Mary Cookie hand cream. I would have preferred like they just come out with a Mary Cookie body care uh, because this has there's just something kind of like it's almost like with Mary Cookie do you feel like it has like a little bit of like kind of like a fresh note with it um it's kind of it's got it's hard to describe because it's still like a cookie scent but there's something like really kind of bright about Mary Cookie and a little bit kind of fresh uh anyway 
this is more plain than Mary Cookie. I think Mary Cookie is more exciting. I would like to see a full body care in Mary Cookie, uh, but but this is all right. But it's not it's not that either. So anyway, um, yeah. So those are my thoughts on the Land of Sweets body care. If you guys have thoughts you want to share, uh, go ahead and do that in the comment box below. And I will see you guys again after Candle Day with that haul. Let me get my head out of the way so you can see my stockings again. I uh, I put the letters on. So I was pretty proud of myself for doing that and being all crafty. And <laughs> you can't really see the tree from here. It's just like a glow. But I've showed my tree before, you know. So just lots of pictures of my pets and everything on it. Um, okay, you guys. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Bye.